All right, boys and girls, welcome to another, uh, hopefully, instructive video on some of you that are playing around with trying to get uh, in things in from Daz into uh, Character Creator 3. I wanted to show you something that does happen quite a bit. Um, there's some interesting advice on how to get around this, but I like this approach, and I want to show you how what I do. Uh, so anyway, so this is the first, this is a Gen 3 male character that I've already applied the T-pose to. He kind of comes in in the T-pose, but I apply the um, the the so-called uh, um, you know the, um, the the T-poses that are provided for us by um, by Real Illusion. So I applied it already to him, and now I'm going to apply um, this um, Ranger outfit. So it has a helmet and it has armor to it. Okay, so that's really all it is there. And if we can bring this over here, you can see it's uh, helmet armor. All, in the, all fitted to that Genesis male, okay? So offhand, you'd think, yeah, well, this will work. This is this is great. Uh, I just I just didn't want to do this. I logged there. Come on. There we go. I, don't, I, I have this off on my other screen, so I want to keep it separate. Um, anyway, so you think to yourself, wow, that's fantastic. So I've got this, uh, this suit here. I'm going to export this. We're going to go ahead and export it as normal. We'll call it... Uh, a R just for a ranger that's, that's what it is uh, these are just the normal export things how we always do it nothing nothing extraordinary or interesting here uh, we'll go ahead and export it there it goes takes a little bit of time but not a lot because there's not really a whole lot to this so now we're going to bring in in the character creator 3 we're going to go to transform of course and go to that particular thing I'm going to do the basic, um, the advanced in this particular case, we'll try to pick up all the textures for the avatar, but I don't really need the uh, Gen, Gen 3 textures to be picked up here. I just want to get the clothing. And look what happens. No compatible profile. Oh, wait, wait a minute. It was a Gen 3 base character with clothing applied. What the heck does this mean? Okay, well, what it means is this, and, I'm, and I'm, you, some of you may understand this and seen this before and may have your own ways of working around it, but I'm gonna show you my way of working around it. The reason that this happens is that a lot of clothing, uh, people that make clothing, go ahead and hide the underlying base parts of the character. So for example, if we turn this off, you'll see, oh my God, it's just, it's just a face. It's just the face that shows up through the, through the helmet. So they've hidden all of the parts of this character. When you export it, it uh, uh, character creator three says, "Hey, you know that doesn't follow the the thing that I'm used to seeing. <laughs> not just the, not just the head floating in there." So uh, so what do you do about this? Well, there's lots of different things you can do. And by the way, this this is an extreme case, obviously with just the face. A lot of times you see this even with just parts like uh, legs and feet. They hide. The reason they do this is because inside of Daz, they don't quite have the same capabilities that we have of hiding meshes while you're rendering. So, I mean, they do, but they just want to make it simpler. So this way, none of the mesh of the body shows through there, okay? So just the face, which you would need to see. So that all makes sense. But now we're stuck with how do we get this clothing imported correctly in. Uh, one of the things you might uh, try, and, and it, it does work a lot of the times, is you go into the pieces of clothing and you unparent them. Uh, sometimes just uh, doing this alone will cause the underlying mesh to come back. In this particular case, it does not. It still stays hidden. But sometimes just unparenting is all you need to do. Um, but that didn't work, okay? So, so it's not gonna work if we export it this way either. So what we really need to do is we're gonna get rid of this base Genesis male that we needed to have in originally to, so that this clothing would fit properly. We wanted the clothing to come in on top of that clothes. So we had to start off with the base character. Whoops, I just... Went way too far here. Where are we? Here, where are we? This is the clothing. I've got a lot of clothing. Uh, there we go. Genesis 3 male. So we're going to bring him back into the scene again. Uh, we're not going, he's not going to be parented to these things. So uh, what will happen is when he comes into the scene is that none of his skin uh, and other textures of his body are going to be hidden. So when we export this properly in a second, uh, it takes a while, and I've got, you know, all of my, um, um, what am I trying to say, all of my materials and things are stored on an SSD drive, so it really shouldn't take this long, but apparently it does, so, all right, so there it is, so 
we have the SS, uh, we have the mail underneath there again. Um, and sometimes I like to reapply the, uh, the T-pose. If, if it's not fitting properly, you can reapply that T-pose. But in this particular case, it looks pretty much like it's fitted okay. And you can see the skin coming through, which is why they actually hide that. But we're not worried about that because we can hide it ourselves in Character Creator. Okay, so now we go and we export this version. We'll just call it the same thing. We don't really care if it's the same thing or not, although Daz does care. Uh, so we'll export this version. The difference is, again, we have the, the naked guy, the naked, the naked person underneath there. So now when we go to Character Creator to go to Transformer, and we load that in. And once again, we're say basic because we don't really... Remember, that has nothing to do with the actual clothing. It's only the avatar. So now, ah, surprise, surprise, it all comes in fine. So isn't that great? So um, so that's good. And, and I, I did want to show you that. To, so that's a workaround to do that. And you can do that with just about every piece of clothing that has that issue. And then, of course, once we're in Daz here, what we would want to do is we would want... I'm sorry, once we're in Real Illusion, I'm just... My brain is... Uh, we would want to, uh, where is it? Uh, we would want to go to the scene and select the base. And then we would want to edit the mesh. And then we would want to select, um, you know, both the front and the back faces. We want to eliminate, actually, that may be a little too much. Let's go here. And do that again. Yeah, I know. Lay the sail. They only remind me of that 3,000 times a day. So now we'd want to, um, oops, I did that wrong. A little bit stunned by this, we, we would want to uh, select the faces there, and then we would want to go and hide them. So now, so now when he poses and things and and does stuff, um, you know, if we go and we we put him in a, a typical male, uh, although I don't really like these male poses, but if we if we put this guy in a male pose like this, uh, none of the none of the skin is going to show through because we've hidden it all. Okay, so that's that's how you can get that in now. I wanted to show you one other quick little tip is that um, he didn't come in with all the the textures that I like. I, mean, I like to actually have this particular guy. I like to, uh, I've worked with him before. So I like to go in with the suit and adjust. He doesn't really have any any maps that come in. So these are all just, um, just uh, you know, the regular PBR kind of textures. So you can, you can kind of uh, get, you know, the way you want. Well, what I like to do is I like to get all this done. Oh, I want to show you one thing, too, on the uh, helmet. Let's go to the glass. One thing about glass is, you turn down the opacity of this, watch this here, and you say, oh, that's pretty good glass. But it really isn't until you add the reflection to it. So, Also, you also want to make sure that you have the diffuse be black, because otherwise, if this diffuse is a, a different color, you say, oh, I might want my glass a little tinted. It doesn't, it doesn't quite work out quite as good, I don't think, at least. At least you want a dark, dark tint to it. There you go. Okay, so anyway, uh, what I wanted to show you was that it's okay here to try to edit some of these uh, textures, but you don't really have all the tools you need. And in particular, what you don't have is you don't have the um, paint bucket. You can pick materials, but you can't do easily painting. So I still think iClone is indispensable for working with those sort of things. So I go in and export and send the character to iClone. And um, the nice thing about, you can go back and forth seamlessly between these two. And so that way, when we get it over here to iClone, we can go in to modify. So we'll go there, the textures. Suit outer, which is what I've got here this stuff and then I and then I go ahead and use the paint bucket and that way I can I can put other other things that match up to those textures and get it very easily looking the way I want it to in a hurry. Um, so that's that's why I like to work with it in inside of iClone. It just is a little better and then it's very easy to just go ahead once you've got the whole thing the way you want. Then you just select the whole thing and go ahead and uh, 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 right there, just uh, edit, edit back in Character Creator, that's all. Just set it back and forth. So it's, it's just as easy So to do it that way, and you get your uh, textures and work on it the way you want. Even kept the pose, look at that. So anyway, so that's, uh, that's how to deal with troublesome um, clothing items that hide some of the stuff there. Hopefully that was helpful a little bit, and uh, we'll be talking to you on the forums and around. Keep you posted.